Good morning folks, welcome observers. Today we've got a look at space weather, sunspots, and coronal holes. We'll see a newly discovered moon of Uranus, an epic multi-wavelength view of a nebula, and a story on magnetic navigation in the animal kingdom. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find it was mostly calm. No further flaring and geomagnetic conditions are quiet as the solar wind dies down a bit in intensity. There was an interesting event that occurred just behind the limb. Watch for a coronal ripple around the outside. We'll replay this several times here, and what you should notice is the outer edge, especially on the left, vibrates violently at one point. This is the quintessential signature of a far side eruption, a major solar blast on the far side of the sun from Earth's perspective. This was a pretty big one, a solid blast, and that region will be turning to face us in the next seven days. Meanwhile, the sunspots on the disk are mostly small but with a bigger umbral core over to the left and coming from the limb. We will be monitoring these for growth and also keeping eyes on the limb for more sunspots turning into view. We also have the northern coronal hole, thin equatorial extension southward. It'll face Earth tomorrow night and its solar wind will arrive Sunday or Monday. Minor geomagnetic storm conditions expected. So let's go next to Uranus where a new moon, categorically named only so far, 2025 U1, a tiny, close orbiting moon just outside its rings. In fact, it may be the second closest orbiting moon the planet has. It's amazing we're still discovering moons in our own solar system pretty much every year. Folks, this H-alpha view of background stars in a wisp at the top of the image was scoped in radio and x-rays. The region reveals that Hidden to our eyes is a wildly excited dusty plasma shape shining brightly in the low radio range and also in the high x-ray range. This is due to energy from a supernova remnant, energy released by a pulsar within the region, and the local magnetic fields. Lastly folks, excellent paper on whale navigation. They focused on blue whales and humpback whales and found that geomagnetic conditions and solar position are the main drivers of their navigational behavior. This is a confirmation of the solar storm whale beaching study that NASA did a few years ago, and it reminds us of how much of the food chain relies on Earth's magnetic field. Birds, whales, turtles, sharks, fish, insects, mammals, plants. GoldObservers.com is sponsoring our documentary on the currently unfolding magnetic pole shift, the next cycle of Earth's catastrophe set to occur before 2050. GoldObservers.com is the place to catch up on precious metals prepping, keeping it in the Observer family. The documentary will cover the cycle, the catastrophes that will take place, and it is going to be free for everyone, thanks in part to GoldObservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.